This is definitely another tutorial. <laughs> What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about a very brand new makeup brand and the brand is called J. Tori Beauty. You don't know, she is a former MAC makeup artist who is now one of the top bridal artists for Dallas-Fort Worth and she has a multitude of businesses revolving around beauty and I get to be the very first person to try out her cosmetics, yay! When I realized that I was the first, I was very surprised because I'm pretty sure she could have sent this to anybody. So thank you so much, J. Tori. And also, if you want to check out everything that I got, go to my Instagram under my unboxing highlight and you'll see everything. The first thing that we're going to be playing with is this palette. Mm, mm, mm. This is the Sassy palette. We're also going to be checking out her lashes. So the pair that I'm going to wear are called Milan Snow. Super duper cute. Her daughter has tons of nicknames from both J. Tori and her husband, and that's what all of the lashes are named after. And then, of course, she has a eyelash adhesive, so I can't wait to try that out because the one that I've been using, it likes to take eyelashes with it. Before I get started, I'm going to prime my eyes, and I'm using my ABH eyeshadow primer. Okay, so I have all my primer on. Let's get started. I really don't know what I want to use. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I've dug into quite a few of these shades. So the first color that I'm going to start with is this one right here. So the palette comes with 15 eyeshadows. It has a mirror, and there are no names for the colors, which I actually prefer. I'm going to dig right into this brown, and I'm just going to put her right here. As you can see, it's pretty pigmented. So I'm tapping this in. This is a really nice warm toned brown. And as y'all saw, when I put it on, it was pigmented, all right? I didn't have any issues. I don't see any patches. Go ahead and blend that out. And I'm using windshield wiper motions. The next color that I want to use is that really pretty brown. So. This color right here, I already have some on my brush. Because the colors are pretty pigmented, I'm being super light-handed with my application because I don't want to have too much on my brush and then have the eyeshadow completely take over the entire look. I really want to see how this looks because usually when this shade is in a palette, it just doesn't show up on my skin. Okay. Especially not in the same tone that it's in in the palette, so... Okay. I feel like makeup is different when a professional creates the products. I'm gonna get some more of that brown because I like the way it looks. And I'm just gonna bring it out. Basically, they're able to address things that other people don't think about because they're not makeup artists. And this is how the palette looks. That's what the kickback looks like. Not very much. So I'm gonna take this cream color right here. I like that the colors in the palette are all warm and there's not a cool tone in there. So I know for sure that I'm getting exactly what I need. Like this color, this cream color, it's actually showing up as it looks in the pan and not white. Whenever I put cream colors on like that, usually it'll wind up looking like my eyeshadow base instead of looking like how it looks in the pan. I don't know, y'all be the judge. And this is the color right here. For my lid, <laughs> this is the fun part. So let me swatch these for you guys so you can see. I feel like after doing makeup for so long, swatching a product lets you know how it's gonna play on your, your face, or your skin, your eyes, because you can feel the texture. It, it'll give you a hint. So these are, I think I'm going to use this one and this one. And I'm gonna take a Morphe 170-8 brush, and hopefully this applies it correctly. This brush is kinda iffy with me. Super soft. I'm going to take my ring finger and lay it down and see what the difference is. Okay, so yeah, this definitely looks 
phenomenal when applied with the finger. A lot more coverage. And that just has to do with the fact that I'm using my finger and not a brush. I'm going to go into the lightest shimmer. And I really don't want this one to take over. I feel like that happens a lot. So I'm really just going to mix it with the gold. And then make the edges nice and soft or fuzzy. Ooh. And we are definitely not going to leave the outside like that. I'm going to take a little bit more of the same brown that I started off with. And this is a MAC 221 S brush. The S stands for synthetic. And I'm just going to blend it in. I like this little brush because it gets in there exactly where I need it to be. And I can really focus colors in my crease. Okay, so now I want to take a little bit of the dark brown and do the same thing. And the dark brown is right below the chocolatey brown that I started with my crease. And I'm building it up because I don't want it to take over. I just want to add some depth into my outer corner and my crease. She's cute! Okay, let me do my other eye. <laughs> Ignore my hormonal breakout that I have going on here. But I just fixed my camera because it was being crazy. And I just did my base. And I used J. Tory Beauty's sponge. It came like this. And it's huge. Like, look at that. It's huge. So if you want to see how I use this, go check out the last post on my Instagram. But girl, it is squishy, sis. It's super duper squishy. And I like how it's got the little flat side so it can stand up, you know. Because I keep my beauty blenders in these because they don't stand up. But I like that, you know. And you could use... The bottom to put your foundation on. I only used one side because I don't like to get my hands dirty. Moving on to the lashes. So let me show you guys these lashes. Milan Snow. That's what the packaging looks like. Very cute. On the inside it's glittery. I'm just going to pull them out so you can actually see the detail. Look at that. They're cut really, really nicely. They kind of remind me of faux mink lashes except they don't look like they're heavy. She also has this lash adhesive, which I haven't opened it yet. It says dual-ended, latex-free, waterproof, dark black, and clear white. Okay, sis. I haven't opened this yet, so. Ooh. Um, but look at this. Let's take a look and see. Ooh. Okay. I like that there's a brush because sometimes there's squeezing tubes. Like, you'll pull it out and it's a squeezy tube. I like that. I'm actually going to use a white glue only because I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow by accidentally getting black glue. And I'm going to make a nice little line super close to my lash line to act as a shadow for the lashes. So this is what the lashes look like. They are super cute, but they're really cute. And they're lightweight too. And the band, the band is thin, but it's wide enough to lay on the lashes really, really good. And give that nice curled up effect. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is just put something on my lower lash line. And I'm like, what color should I use? I think I want to use the berry color because I accidentally scraped it. And I'm just going to sweep this under here like this. And I'm going to bring this kind of low. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and a little bit of this fuchsia shade right here. And these are pigmented, so I have to tap these off unless I just really want to see all that color under my eye. And I'm just going to blend out this really pretty berry shade with the fuchsia. And to top it all off, I'm going to go back into this creamy beige shade right here. And I'm popping that right here. Girl, girl, we cute. I'm going to put on some mascara, setting spray, and Fenty Gloss, and I'll be right back. Y'all know I love me some MAC Fix Plus, honey. Y'all 
It even makes my breakout look better. <laughs> this is the final look. I think it's cute. I like it. So, first of all, love the lashes. Love how lightweight they are. I also like how the fibers actually look like hairs. They're cut really nicely. The sponge, I'm feeling the sponge. Like, I was not expecting that because normally when I try sponges from other brands that are not Beauty Blender, they just, they're harder or they're firmer or they absorb a bunch of product. I like how big it is. It's like, it's lightweight. It's not dense at all. And I like how there's a flat side and you've got, it's big enough to just hold because I was literally going in like, -da 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 -da, you know. So I like that. The adhesive, I was also surprised by because most brands, when they make eyelash glue, it takes a second for it to get sticky. And especially the white glue, don't know why. But I put this on and it didn't take longer than a minute for it to get sticky, which I appreciate as someone who usually does their lashes last. You normally don't want to be sitting there forever waiting for your eyelash glue to dry so you can stick it on, right? It dried clear, number one, which is very important to me because I cannot have milky glue. It's latex-free, which is great for people who have sensitive eyes, and it's dual-sided. So if you are a makeup artist or you're just someone who prefers to have both glues, this will be a good one to have, especially since you won't have to pay for two separate ones. It'll be right here, super easy to find, and you won't have to be looking for your black glue or your white glue. What else? Um, okay, so the eyeshadow palette. Let me grab the other one because I want y'all to see it. Here's my thoughts on the eyeshadows. They are matte, which I love. Even the shimmery shades, they have this dry texture to them. It kind of reminds me of the Pat McGrath formula. And then when I put it on, it goes on really, really, like, look at that. Real beautiful and blend seamlessly. So I like the formula. I like that they're pigmented. I like that there are no names. <laughs> Because that's a lot to keep up with, you know what I mean? Some people do like the names, it's cute to have names, whatever. But I like that there's no names, and I like that it's just, you get the palette. You've got a good mirror, um, and then it has the website and everything on the back. Real simple, you know, you don't even have to speak, it, speak on it. If I had to pick favorite shades from this palette, this one and this one... And this one, because I used it the other day, because they actually show up true to color. So the way that it looks in the pan is the way that it showed up on my skin, which is very rare for eyeshadow palettes, especially if they're not pressed pigments. So I love that. Let me just show you guys the Sweet palette in comparison, because I know some of y'all are going to want to know. And y'all probably ain't going to go to my Instagram to see the unboxing. So this is the Sweet palette. So here is the Sweet palette. It's cool tone. There's lots of pinky mauves, plenty of matte shades for transitions and things like that. There's also a black. This black is more of a charcoal black, meaning that it's not like stark black. So it'll you'll be able to mix it with the other colors to give yourself enough depth and also build it up girl I appreciate that she made sure these colors were suitable for fair complexions and deeper complexions so and I'm gonna just stack these so y'all can see them in comparison so the sassy palette is the warm one and the sweet palette is the cool one so cute she also has supplies so like I said she's a makeup artist she also has supplies like having Eyelashes in your kit for your clients or for yourself. Eyelash curler, tweezers, like the little clampy tweezers. How I always tell you guys that you need something like this. She has some. So if you've been waiting to get tweezers like mine, boom. She has some. I have to say I'm very proud of Jay Tori and I sincerely appreciate being the very first person to receive PR from your brand. That is so amazing to me especially as someone who has admired you since i was a little girl so yeah i think that your brand is fantastic overall because not only are your products suitable for makeup artists you have in their kit but it's really simple and easy to use if you're just someone who likes to wear makeup she has majority of the basics that you would need in your makeup kit and also anything that you would just want as an individual who likes to wear makeup so yeah yeah this will not be the last time you see J Tory Beauty on my channel, sis, because I am shookington. It's been a minute since I've tried an indie brand and been 
impressed enough to get on camera and film about it because I want to. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm going to take some pictures of my eyes. But don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. You can subscribe right here and watch the next video right here. If you're interested in checking out G. Tori's products, check the description link down below. I am going to have her website, which is this right here. Down below, she also has an Instagram, okay, J Tori Beauty. And I will see y'all when I see y'all. All right. All right. <laughs>